WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications is called How to Make a Static Page Your Home Page Part 2. It's a follow-up to the uh, earlier tutorial about how to make a static page your home page or front page. Uh, at the end of that tutorial I mentioned the fact, uh, let's go look at this, that you may have in some themes, okay, this is not true of all WordPress themes, but in the theme that I chose for this uh, Business Blogging 101 website that I use for these tutorials, uh, there is kind of a default button that is the home button. And what we showed in the in the first tutorial was, and I'll run I'll run through this real quickly if I can get get through all the steps. Um, how to take a, an existing page or a new page that you create and, and give that the, the home page status and then you can take another page and make that the blog page. So by default um, here the uh, Business Blogging 101 site has the, the kind of blog format with chronological entries on the home page. Okay and then there are other pages uh, here that you can see the links to that are static pages like WordPress tutorials complete list. So what I did in the first tutorial was, um, and I'll show you how this goes, come in here to uh, dashboard options reading okay and maybe I'll blow this up a little bit so you can see it. The, um, the options here for front page are to display uh, your latest posts on the front page or home page or select the second option if you want to choose a uh, page a static page as your home page so what I did was I selected um, WordPress tutorials complete list as the front page okay and if I update right now and and I don't select anything for the posts page the the blog posts will essentially go away you can see them uh, through other links but there's no page that has them on. So I'll select another one here uh, just for the sake of, of the example I will select the about page okay and the posts will then appear on that and anything I have on the about page since that exists already will no longer be visible. Okay so I'm clicking on update options be sure to do that and then if I go back out here and I refresh on the home page, we should see, there you see, the WordPress Tutorials Complete List now appears on the home page. Okay, you can see that from the URL up top. Uh, if I click on the home link, this is the page that loads. It's the same page if I click on the WordPress Tutorials Complete List button that loads. Okay, and that's the point of this um, second half of the tutorial. I'll show you that in a sec. Now if I click on about that link, okay now I see rather than the about page which was there before I see the chronological entries um, that are the, the blog entries with the dates associated with them. Okay now the, the, the issue was uh, before that you have this link here WordPress tutorials complete list and it can be confusing because if somebody's clicking on the home button, say they come to your site, to any page, they click on home, they see the WordPress tutorials complete list. Now they may think, well, what's the difference between the home, you know, home page and this button here that I'm clicking on? Nothing seems to change. Why is this button up here? That's a legitimate question, and you know, for the most part, you don't want to have a, a link to a page that's redundant like that. Um, you can see incidentally in the sidebar over here that there are links to all of the pages as well okay and that's another kind of redundant feature of this um, theme and the the difference is that um, whereas up top we see just the main pages um, in the sidebar the sub pages uh, links to those sub pages also appear Okay, so this happens to be uh, part of the way that, that we trick WordPress into not showing this WordPress Tutorials button. Um, now it could be any page that we chose for the home page, but since this is the one we're talking about, let me show you how to make that go away. Okay, now again, uh, it's important to note uh, for this tutorial that 
the pages links that appear over here in the sidebar also show the sub pages so I'll show you why that's so important if we want to make uh, you know the um, WordPress tutorials link up here up top go away um, here's how we do it we go into manage pages and then we find our uh, WordPress tutorials complete list page okay right now it doesn't have a bar in front of it you can see these bars hopefully see let me pump them up even more uh, a sub page and a sub sub page will have a bar in front so this is a sub sub page or a sub page of the about business blogging 101 which is just kind of a, an example or sample page um, this page is a sub page of about okay and that's why it has one bar under it like that alright now if I go click on edit the WordPress tutorials complete list page there is a tutorial about uh, how to create child pages or sub pages okay this looks a little funny because I've got the, the font very large but you can see uh, on the right side here we have these various option boxes and if you go to page parent right now I'll show you what the what the problem is if I make the uh, the page a sub page of say about right um, so now I'm making the WordPress tutorials complete list uh, a sub page of the about page okay I'm gonna click it I click save now you should see hopefully this works I will refresh the page and there did you see it the button up top to WordPress tutorials complete list page is now gone so um, that is because that's our home page that's fine right we don't need another link to that page we want that to be the home page so if I click on home I go see the WordPress tutorials complete list page but the link shows up over here in the sidebar because it's in a, a sub page of about as we decided right so that might be slightly confusing um, it's not as confusing as having it up top so that's a partial solution but the um, the way to you know fully resolve that issue assuming that you have a sidebar that shows sub page links is to just push it even further down in the hierarchy of pages so uh, go back in here you can see now that there's a bar in front of the WordPress tutorials complete list because it's a sub page of about and it appears under about and it's got a bar in front of it like that um, you know so we're going back to edit this page again and as you might have guessed rather than make the uh, page parent the about page we can go to a page that is not going to show its sub page in the sidebar navigation okay and that in this case this is the sub page child of about business blogging 101 so I'm going to select that thing and click on save okay now the page is still completely intact it's just the navigation that's changing so I go back out here, I click on any page, um, say the about page, which is actually our blogging page right now. And now you can see, I mean, number one, right, the link to the WordPress tutorials complete list is not in the navigation on the top, nor is it showing up in the pages navigation in the sidebar. Why? Because it's a sub page of this, you know, sub sub page and those links don't show in this uh, navigation now they could it's not impossible in WordPress to have sub 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 pages showing up in navigation that's just something that's set in the theme um, and if you have you know control over the theme uh, the, the theme files you can set that however you want okay you could even make these go away in the sidebar if you had control over the theme but since this site is hosted on WordPress.com, you don't have that control.